does that even mean, Bower's Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube! We are back again today for another Bower Family Learns, another special Game Crafter Spotlight Bower Family Learns. And today I'm here with my nine year old son, Sean. What's up? We're going to be playing the two to five player, ages 12 plus, 30 minute game, Undermine from JT Smith, illustrated by Jason Glover. And uh, it actually has a solo variant too, so you can ignore that two to five and pretend it says one to five. But right now we have it set up for a two player game. So in this game, Sean, you're going to try and get the most money. How you're going to be getting money is you're going to play as a little teeny tiny gnome. And the little teeny tiny gnomes are going to be digging all over with these cards right here and collecting gems. Putting them into their garden and then eventually taking those gems with their wagon and their handy dandy rat or mouse or whatever to sell them. And that's how you get points in this game. Graf me, graf me. Now, you'll notice that there's gems in here, but there's also mushrooms. Mushrooms are kind of special. You cannot sell mushrooms until the end of the game. Say it out loud, because I forget that rule. You cannot sell mushrooms until the end of the game. Bingo. You can sell gems anytime. You can only sell mushrooms at the end of the game. Mushroom. And, Mushroom. yep. Mushroom. And when you're selling things, here's how it works. There's two ways to sell it. You can either sell everything that is all the same. So you could have this purple gem, and this purple gem, and this purple gem, and this purple gem, and this purple gem. If you had five of those, you would get... $18. Nice? And you'd keep track of it on here. However, you can also sell different. So if you had a purple gem, a yellow gem, a blue gem, and a green gem, all four different, you could sell four of those for 13 bucks. So when you're selling, it's either all the same or all different, and you cannot sell mushrooms until the end. Okay? Now, okay. let's get into the actual game. Would you like to go first or second? It says whoever is the most gnomes in their yard, which I believe right now we're both tied with two because we live together. Yeah, wait, we, we have, have two. Gnomes? Yeah, they live under the ground. Like, Mommy thinks it's moles, but it's actually gnomes. Oh my god. She's a noob. Girl, me, girl. Would you like me to go first, or would you want to go first? You can probably go first. It's pretty simple. Okay, I'll go first. Because on your turn, you can do one of three things, which is also on this handy dandy reference card, which she also has the solo play on the back if you ever want to try it solo. Because it is really simple to play from the base game to solo. So. Let's talk about what you have in your... Well, let's talk about the actions, and then I'll explain what's in your hand. So on your turn, you can do one of three actions. You can either buy a card. Now, the cards are over here. You can ignore this one. This is 100 money. This is just used more for bookkeeping. If you ever get more than 100 money, you take this. We probably won't because... Uh, I, I don't. Well, maybe we will. Hopefully we will. Then, you can also buy one of these. This is called storage. Now, remember how I told you you could sell gems and mushrooms at the yeah. end of the game? Well, in order to sell gems, you have to haul them with your wagon. And your wagon can only carry two gems, even though this guy's clearly carrying three. Thematically, yes. you're breaking me here. Uh, <laughs> so sell two gems to the market. So if you had two of these wagons, then you could sell four, four gems. And the more you sell, the better, the better money you get. For instance, if you sold, uh, let's just say you had four gems, and you sold them two times. So you'd get five gems the first time and five gems the second time, right? Oh, no. So you'd get it. Are you paying attention? Yes. So you'd sell two and two for a grand total of five plus five. Ten. Ten bucks. Now, if you happen to have the wagon, you could sell four of them. And then instead of getting ten, you would get. Thirteen. So, yeah, the more you sell at the same time, the bigger bonuses you're going to get. A lot of games do that. It's a very popular technique. So you could buy a card. You can either buy a wagon, which will cost you four bucks. You could buy a tunnel, and there's only five of these that are to be bought. So these are very, very good as well. And why are tunnels good, I'll tell you in a second, but they deal with the dig action right there. So you can buy a tunnel, you can buy a wagon, or you can buy storage. Because right now you can only hold three gems. So if you get four gems your first time, you know what you got to do with the, f the fourth gem? Toss it. Toss it. goes into the box. So And the, the way storage works is actually really clever. It says down here, it, the number of storage you have right now is how much this costs. So how much would this one cost? Three. And so, how much, if you want to get another one, how much would it cost? Uh, nine. Yeah, and it's a very simple system. I like that system. What do you think about that? I like it. I think it's clever. I like clever things in games. So, that's the buy action. You can buy one of those things. Okay? Wagon, tunnel, storage. Next thing you can do is you can sell, which we already talked about a little bit, so we're not going to go too much into that. Which oh. I can't do right now. No, because we don't have any gems. Or you can dig. And this is the main action that you're going to be taking. So how you dig, very, very simple. You are going to connect to one of your white dots. You have one here and one here. And you can also move this a little bit closer forward if you would like. You want to do that? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, and then how it works is you put the white dot just like that, and then you pick up everything that is underneath your your little spot right here. So I would get one, two, three, four, five, six things, but I can only hold three, which means I'd have to get rid of three. Which is why maybe, since you start off with five bucks, you might want to buy storage first, or maybe, I don't know. It's up to you. It's your turn. But that's what you can do. The other action you can do, which I don't think you do right now, is you can take one gem from around the outside. Uh, so if you really needed a yellow, you say, all right, this is my whole action. I'm just taking this one yellow gem. Mm. That's pretty much all you can do in the game. You can dig, you can buy, and you can sell. And we go until someone has 50 bucks or until all the gems are gone. Oh, excuse me. No, no, sorry, sorry. 50 gems or until no one has any tunnels left. That's um, what I'm talking about. I'm thinking I'm getting this confused with another game. We'll keep this player reference here. All right, so you have to connect the white dot, white dot to white dot. There you go. Ooh, there's oh, a lot of yellows there. Well, That's all right. Nope. Most important thing is you just remember what your money was. Yep. Yeah, you could probably get yourself three yellows. Or I get, oh, yeah, if you go that way, you, could, you wouldn't waste any gems. Says you could get the blue, the red, and the yellow right there, which is the most you could hold. There we go. And you could, yeah, that's great. So you just you pick those, just put those three to the side, and then you put that back where it was, like in the empty spot. And then you put your gems down here. Oh, white to white. Yeah. Put yeah. your gems down here in your spot. And then that's it. That's the whole turn. On each turn, you're either going to buy, dig, or sell. Very simple. I am going to... Bye! For three dollars, I will acquire this extra storage. Bloops, so now I got two bucks. And I'll just put it right there for camera, camera purposes. I want to try to keep everything on camera. Actually, I think we can do it right there, maybe. All right, your turn. Turns are pretty snappy in this game, too. I'm going yeah, to be seen. I'm going to sell these two on my wagon. All right, so those go into the box. There's a bunch of stuff already in the box, because we are. when you start with a two-player game, you actually take away half of the gems out here. So there should be more gems if we were playing a high-player camp. Uh, so you got yourself five bucks. Mm -hmm. So you go from five, so it, only goes to, so it only goes to nine, so you put it on zero, and then you just bump this up to ten. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so then if you gain five more bucks, you would just move that to five, and then you'd know you'd have... So this is pretty much how much you have in tens, and this is how much you have in ones, and then this... That's how much you have in hundreds. Yeah, Pretty simple. It's like the highest you can go on this thing is 99. I doubt any of us are even going to get close to 99. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll get super lucky. Uh, all right, so I have storage now, so I am going to go, boom, oh, that's mine. I guess it's only four. Okay. It felt, it felt like more. <laughs> felt like more. All right, your turn. But I did get four different colors. Ooh, that's fantastic. I'm going to buy storage for a free buck. Three dollars. All right, we'll just put that right there. Is that fine? Yep. Everybody will know. Seven. All right. I got more storage. Or I could sell. I could sell right now. Um, How much money could I get? I can only sell two, so I get five bucks. That five bucks would put me to seven bucks because I want to buy a wagon. Mm, but I kind of want to buy three wagons. But I can only buy one at a time. So you know what? I am going to sell. Yeah, I got to do it eventually. So I'm going to sell these two. Bloop, bloop. And you kind of want to look at your path ahead, actually. So I don't want to sell this one. I think I'm going to have lots of purples to potentially get, whereas yellows are a little more rare. But yeah, I do want to sell the purple. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have a whole bunch of yellows on me. And don't forget, you can also connect to this one as well. If you want to just branch off that way, that is totally illegal. Because I see two red mushrooms over there. Uh, oh, one last rule that I do want to mention, right after I give myself my $5, is that um, at the end of the game, like I mentioned, you can normally there's, there's only five colored gems in the game, okay? And then there's three colored mushrooms in the game. There's like blue, red, and there's gray somewhere. Ooh, we, we might even have a gray. That's a rare one. I might have snatched that up. And if you can get all eight of them in a set, you can sell it for 39 But this one breaks the rules. You don't have to have... The enough wagon space to do it at the end of the game. At the end of the game, you don't have to worry about wagon space. That's the big rule I'm trying to get to you. Do you understand that? Yes. So you don't have to be like, ah, I gotta get four wagons in order to haul eight. Nope. You can have one wagon. Probably be a terrible choice. You're gonna get your face crushed in, but you could. If you only have one wagon in the game, well... Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna buy a wagon. I just, yeah, I, I do know. That'd be really hard. Uh, so you're spending the four bucks? I have three bucks. Here's your wagon, sir. You may now haul up to four things away. Did I buy a wagon? 
No. no, I sold, so now I can buy a wagon. Boo! Running wagons. Let's go. I, I, I kind of like the theme of this game. It's an interesting theme for sure. I like the artwork a lot. I think it I think it really sells it. Like everything just looks like this right here, this player card just But then again, uh Grey Gnome Games. I don't like every single one of their game necessarily, but I always feel like they look very distinctive can and I, different. And I do like most of their games. Can I do this white dot? Uh, yeah, you can do that one or that one. Dig Down, I think Dig Down Dwarf's one of my favorites. I want to get that one day. I think you'd like it a lot. Adam has that one. Maybe we could borrow that. Let's see. One, two. Is this a leaf? It's count. It's coming. It's touching it. Yep. Yep. So Ooh. you don't even need to, you don't need to count them. Just shush them off the side. Lay your thing down. And you put those in your, put yours in your thing. Your wet, I guess that's in your garden. That's what it's called thematically. And okay, I will, so. I'm going to go ahead and boom. Now this one feels big. Bam! All that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to throw some of this away. Oh my goodness. I don't remember if I got the greens. So I'll just leave the greens. Get in there. That's a lot. That was a juicy mine. Yeah, I, I probably did, but whatever. Okay, so I'm not going to have to throw anything away. Bloop. And that is your turn now. My garden is so full. I, so thematically, you're, 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 you're stealing all this stuff. From here and taking it into through your three little things. The other thing, oh, you know what I wish they had though? Just these nice little thematic touches. I wish they had like little tiny like gnomes. Like maybe if there was just like a gnome resting here, just like you know drinking a soda pop because he's still on his break or something like that. Okay, so that's little things like that. Maybe a gnome skeleton from you know I don't know what bad happened. You don't have to count them, buddy. Just grab them. Yep, don't count them. Just push them up, pick them all up. Yep. Wait, I was, um, did I get the mushroom? We'll say, yeah. Okay. I think you did. Yep, yeah, because you don't have to count them. It doesn't matter how many you got. You're just, uh, ooh, maybe you did. Oh, well. Oh, well. Do it's an inexact science here. Now, one thing that I do want to mention to you. The game will end when you don't have any tunnels. And there are only five tunnels here. So if you want to buy extra tunnels... Uh, you're essentially making it so that I won't get this extra tunnel. So buying extra tunnels is a very, very good thing to do if you have the cash. So one, but you can only buy one at a time. My garden's full. Oh, so I got a wagon. I can haul four. Do I want to haul four? Mm, yeah, let's haul four. We'll go these four right here. Yeah. Bing, 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 bang, boom. So that is 13 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your trip. I'll haul these four six. down. So. Into my hands, sir. Uh. When did I get 13 for selling board? Nope, nope, nope. You can't do those four because what's the problem? They either have to be all the same or all different. different. So, yep, no, no, no. Just take one out, take the purple out, and replace it with either the green or the pink, it looks like. Green. And then bada boom. So now you're good. So, so I get 13. 13. You just go up ten and then bump that one up three. Like I said, I love I love these type of things in games. They make it oh bump it up three. Because you bumped yourself three. up what? It is on three. Well bump yourself up three. Yeah, because Because look, you get you get thirteen. So just give yourself the ten here and then give yourself the three up here. Got it. Yep, don't overthink it. Like like I said, these things make it really easy. I have Sixteen bucks. You have sixteen bucks. Whoa, it's it's a barn burner. All right, my turn. Yep. Well, I'm going. Yeah, I gotta put this guy in. Yeah, you don't want to lose him. He's a mushroom. I'm going to buy this tunnel for one dollar before you start buying them all. Boop, your turn. I think I'm gonna buy this tunnel for one buck. All right. I will then use this tunnel. <laughs> You're, thematically, you're not using a digging machine. Mm, you don't know what the gnomes have. Maybe the gnomes have drills. <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> maybe. Pickaxe. Oh, hey, yeah, like that. Like, why can't there be, like, a little ladder right here? Or a soda machine? Like, what if there was just a little gnome soda machine oh my there? God. What, you don't think the people um, running this mine want to make a little couple extra bucks on the side? I'm just saying, little thematic touches like that go a long way. Especially when you're... When you're having the artwork do so much uh, of one, the load, two. which I think they are. It's great artwork. Love the artwork. One, it just two, pops. Three, 
four. Like, even the little things. Like, this isn't just a mushroom. On some some games, this would just be a mushroom. But no, they, 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 made, they made you realize that this is underground, in the dirt. I like it. Four? You're selling more. All right, clearing Let's out shop. Four. 13, Thirteen more bucks. Now, don't forget, you can sell as much as you want later on in the game, too. Okay. Uh, I should probably sell as well. Or buy more storage. Ooh, I could buy more storage. I can afford it. Nine bucks. Why not? So I'm going, just go down ten bucks and go up one buck. You see how I did that? Yep. That makes it easier. I just go, I left, I lost ten and I went up one. I don't think I'm going to spend fifteen bucks. Ooh, yeah, getting that, getting that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go mining. Let's Ooh. go. Lots of yellows over there. Ooh, can I get this? Can I get that? Yeah, we're gonna go right. Bam, there. So I get all those screens. I currently have 27 bucks. Plus, I kind of just made it so you're not gonna want to go. Oh, no, sorry. Ah. Good thing you just remembered you had 27 bucks because I just messed it up. Wow, that's a there's like a, a whole boatload of yellows over there, all for me. Uh, the, your white line's not there, buddy. You can't, because your white line's, pew, there you go. You gotta go from here or from there, I do believe. And yeah, it looks like you got all of them, because you're touching all of them. So yeah, just pick up all four of those yellows. One. I thought I won. I thought I was gonna get all of them. Now <laughs> this mine sucks. <laughs> Bloop. All right. Wow, you could just sell uh, four yellows if you really wanted to. Uh, so what do I got here? I have a lot of stuff I probably need to sell right now. I think that's a no-brainer. Ooh, do I want to get... Man. Do I buy the wagon? No, it's not even... Ah, I'm going to sell four. Can I sell four green? One, two, three. I have a lot of green. Three, four green. Boom. So I get 30 bucks. Your turn. I'm going to sell Ten. four... 20 bucks. Four yellows. Four yellows. Oh, you just picked those up. 13 bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, so then I will go up one because I land right there. Then bump this again. Bam. I have 40. If I get nine more, I end the game. Wow. Okay. Apparently, I just stunk at the game. <laughs> Play this twice now. I don't think I'm good at the game. Apparently, you are. Gosh, well, man, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I like that actually makes me like the game a lot better seeing that because in the other two games I've played I did not see that end condition potentially poke its head up so wow if you can sell if you can sell quick now what do you need there's the million dollar question will that get you everything you need yeah you get a bunch of stuff there so pick all that up looks like those four things one Oh no, that's gonna give you nine dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell right now because it's not looking good for your dear old dad. Let's see what we got. Uh, yellow, green, blue. They're all the same stinking colors. All oh, there's a one purple. So thirteen bucks. Yeah, thirty-three. And I'm assuming you're gonna sell three and the game i to put you at exactly 50 bucks. So the game ends immediately, Sean, which means now we total up the number of points. So everybody's going to sell everything they have left. So you have one set of three. So that's would, nine more. Yes. And I have, I'm going to have a couple different sets, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough with it. So blue, blue. Don't think you're going to top me. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Don't sound so confident yet. I don't know. Oh, that's 18 bucks right there. That's three yellows. Oh, I think I won. I think I might have pulled this out because that's four or five. Oh, that's, that's going to be a heartbreaker, I think. <laughs> so, I have a set of five, a set of four, and a set of one, which means I'm going to get 31, 32 bucks. So, I am up to 60, no, 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 boop, 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 up to 65 bucks. And you are at 59. So, very close game. Good game, buddy. Good game. Woo, I thought you won there, too. So, that is Undermine from 
the GameCraft right now. You can check out the link down below. If you check it out in the next like week or two, there's going to be a crowdfunding sale if you want to pick this one up. But it looks like it might be a cup of TV show to check that one out. If you're enjoying this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And if you are ever interested in checking out some indie games or checking out uh, making your own game yourself, the Game Crafter is the way to go. And I see it all the time. I do the Kickstarter critiques every day. You know what everybody complains about? They say Kickstarter's cold, Kickstarter's heartless. They just, every company uses it now and they, they're artificial and bad. And don't hit yourself. They don't say that part. I say that part. <laughs> and if you really want to support something that's not that way, check out some of the games on the Game Crafter because those are games that, uh, you know, honestly, a lot of channels won't even cover. And I'm not trying to throw shade at other people, but I know, for instance, like Tom Bassel, I'm pretty sure doesn't cover Game Crafter. The Dice Tower doesn't. And then maybe they, maybe they have now. Maybe with a, they got like forty people working there, but I'm just saying you wanna you wanna support something a little bit more on the indie side. If you're getting Kickstarter jaded, check out the Game Crafter. But they're also sponsoring this. But I would talk about them as well because I love the Game Crafter. Sean's heard me talk about the Game Crafter. I just wouldn't talk this much about the Game Crafter if it wasn't a sponsored video. So you get it. You know, I'm just giving you a little bit more extra spice on the rice. Yeah. That's a cool expression. Yeah, I like that one. I've never heard that before. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to put a few more jalapenos on the rice. <laughs> All right, but I don't that was rambling. Bye-bye.